We're asked to find a set with the greatest cardinality, meaning the largest possible size, that is a subset of both A and B. Then determine the cardinality of the set. Let's begin by reviewing the definition of a subset. If A is a subset of B, then every element of A is also an element of B. So in our case, let's say we're looking for set C. We want set C to be a subset of A and a subset of B, meaning every element in set C is in set A and also in set B. And because we're looking for the set with the largest cardinality, that set is going to be the intersection of A and B. So let's call our set C, where again, set C is going to be a subset of set A and also a subset of set B. And again, the set where these conditions are met with the largest cardinality would be the intersection of A and B. The intersection of A and B is the set containing all of the elements that are in A and in B. So analyzing sets A and B, notice the elements of eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 15 are in A and in B. A intersect B, or the intersection of A and B, is the set containing the elements of eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 15. This set is the set with the largest cardinality that is a subset of A and a subset of B. Any subset of C other than itself would also be a subset of A and B, but it would have less elements, and therefore this set is the set with the greatest cardinality that is a subset of set A and set B. So let's go ahead and list this above. The set with the greatest cardinality that is a subset of both A and B is C equals the set again containing the elements of eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 15. And the cardinality of set C is equal to the number of elements in set C, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. I hope you found this helpful.